guys, it's me, Lisa, from FantabulouslyFrugal.com. I wanted to share my January Pop Sugar must-have box with you guys today. Um, it came in the mail yesterday, and I took a peek at it, and it's really fantastic. Um, I opened it up, and at first I was a little nervous because actually, I'll, I'll just show you since we're going to go through this. The first item on top was Pipcorn Truffle Delicious Mini Popcorn. And I wasn't sure about popcorn. Um, they've actually sent popcorn quite a bit, and popcorn's not one of my favorite treats, but I have tried popcorn before, and it's absolutely delicious. So, started the um, the box off on the right foot, so I'll just dive right into it now and show you guys everything else. The next thing we have here are a pa pair of Jack and Lucy gloves, and they're actually tech gloves. Um, so you can use your smartphone and your tablets and things like that while you have these on and you can see the little the little black fingers those are the ones that will work with the um the smart screens and things like that i'm really excited about these um as you know i'm here in chicago and apparently the polar vortex is coming back again this week week which is a real bummer um, i have my two dogs that i still have to take out and walk and it's bitterly cold so this time around, I may double up. Um, I have a pair of mittens. I may put these on under the mittens because last time around it was brutal and terrible and all of that. So next up, we have Malin and Gertz Detox Face Mask. I hope that's how you say that because I've really never known how to say this before and I've gone out of my way not to say it. So hopefully that's correct. Um, but yeah, this is a detox face mask and I didn't look up the prices of items, but this brand is super expensive. So I'm expecting this is not a cheap product. Um, but I love, I love everything they have. I've actually never bought any of their stuff for myself because it's way out of my price range, but I've stayed at a few hotels where, um, they will include this brand in the bathroom, so I normally stock up at that point. So I'm excited to try that out. Next up, we have Revlon, which I was kind of surprised to see in this box, but I'm excited about these products. It's Revlon by Marquesa, and it's a box of nail files, um, but the nail files were designed by Fashion House Marquesa, which is awesome. I had no idea these were even a thing, so. These will definitely be finding a place in my purse because I'm the person that always needs a nail file. So these are fantastic. Next, the next two products are really when I learned that Pop Sugar was going after my heart. Um, I think it was a couple months ago now that they didn't really have a really great box. And last month they sent, um, the main item in the box was the bracelet. And of course the bracelet didn't fit me, but someone on my website, left a fantastic note saying to take the pendant off of the bracelet uh, i'll share this in case any of you had the same issue i do and wear it on a necklace and it's just as gorgeous that way apparently um that's what a lot of people have been doing and it's not just me whose um wrists are apparently too big for all of the bracelets that pop sugar sends out so that's fantastic and i need to get on doing that but anyhow Back to today, the next item in the box is the 2014 Cities Calendar from what's right now my favorite paper company ever, and that is Rifle Paper Company. Of course, if you read any blogs or anything like that, Rifle Paper Company is everywhere um, because their products are just so pretty. Um, personally, I love travel, which is what makes the Cities Calendar even better. So it's really just, it's a desk calendar. See, it folds out there. And each month, there's a new illustration for a new city. Of course, New York is in January, London, February, Tokyo, March, and so on and so forth. So I am excited to put this out on my desk. I wouldn't have bought it myself, um, but now that I have it, I am absolutely thrilled. So the final item in the box... I'm very excited about the juice generation. 100 recipes for fresh juices and superfood smoothies. I never used to be a big juicer, um, but last year for my birthday back in August, 
I used my birthday money to buy myself a Nutribullet and I love it. I am obsessed with my Nutribullet and I should really make a video on it because I use this thing constantly and I really can't get enough. I've never had an appliance like that that I just keep using. Normally I get something, use it a couple times and then it goes in a cupboard or something. But the Nutribullet stays on our counter and I use it all the time. So I wanted a box, sorry, I wanted a book full of recipes to use with the Nutribullet and I just haven't bought one. But now that I have this, it will come in very handy. Um, pretty pictures, tons of recipes, even lots of nutritional information like why Cal is king, which I can't wait to read because I do use Cal, but I don't know why, because um, it tastes kind of gross most of the time. But So this is also fantastic. I will definitely be putting that to good use. That's everything that I received, and I've got to say, this is one of the better Pop Sugar Must Have boxes they sent in a while, and it could just be that it really speaks to me because I love travel and I really love my Nutribullet, so these items are perfect, but I could see particularly if you weren't big into juicing, that may not be such a big hit for you. Um, but if you want to give it a try, I highly recommend the Nutribullet. I'll even put my review um, down below and maybe I'll do a video coming up here um, about how I use it and my favorite, um, my favorite beverage to drink that tastes very tropical and I think it's fantastic. So that's it from me with uh, the January Pop Sugar Must Have box. I will be back really soon with a couple more reviews for you guys. Till then, I hope you're doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!